In previous videos, I've covered how to set up Amazon's CloudFront, which is a CDN for your WordPress blog. Now there's another option out there if you don't wanna go down the AWS path, and that's called Cloudflare. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to set up Cloudflare for your personal blog. So let's just get right into it. And just so you know, I have not done this before. So this is going to be the first time I'm attempting to set up Cloudflare and we'll see exactly how easy this is going to be for us. All right, so once I've logged into Cloudflare here, uh, let's just make sure. So we're at the home screen. Uh, you can see I don't have any websites set up. So we are going to add a new site here and I wanna do this for my uh, one of my personal blogs. So we'll set that up, add site, provide the root domain, not any subdomains. Okay, so let's get rid of the subdomain here. Just add the root. Select a plan. Um, I don't wanna spend any money, I want the free one. Here we go, free $0, it gives us distributed denial of service attack mitigation and global content delivery network. So those are the two key things you'll get with the free account. We'll get a CDN and DDoS protection. And the way the DDoS protection works, and this is something that you get over and above uh, with AWS uh, CloudFront. You will point your domain name servers, and we'll cover that here in a bit, to Cloudflare. So everything will run through Cloudflare before it goes off to your site. That's how they can mitigate any DDoS attacks on your site. So we are going to select the free account here, continue. So it looks like it's pulling all of the DNS records related to that domain. Uh, let's see here, add more DNS records, proxied, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so what do we got here? Okay, so it lists out all of our DNS for that domain, and it looks like it's just defaulting everything to be proxied, meaning it will go through Cloudflare. Um, we're just gonna leave things as they are. I mean, you can tweak this to your, to your heart's content, I'm just gonna leave everything enabled here that they've suggested, and we'll leave it at that. We'll hit continue. All right, pointing to cloud here in the critical step. Okay, so now this is the point where you need to actually point to Cloudflare's name servers. And it should tell us, probably right here, add cloud, Cloudflare name servers. So these are the two name servers that we need to add to our domain. So now what you need to do is go to whomever your domain provider is, and we'll have to make the change there. In my case, I'm using GoDaddy for all of my domains. All right, so uh, here's my, my um, Bruginner domain. This is the one we wanna set up with Cloudflare, so we're gonna go to Manage DNS. And what you'll see here is telling us, um, we can't display your DNS information because your name servers aren't managed by us. And you can see I've actually pointed them at one time to InMotion Hosting. So my hosting is through InMotion Hosting, my domains I've purchased and I maintain through GoDaddy. I pointed my Bruginner domain to these name servers at InMotion Hosting. So we need to change that but I'm willing to bet it's not going to let us here. So it says, okay, I can connect my domain to a website I've built. I don't want that. I want, I want to use GoDaddy's default. I don't want to do that, but I think I'm going to have to enter my own name servers and I'm willing to bet, oh, it's letting me, interesting. I didn't think I would be able to do that. Fascinating. Okay, so let's do, I want to go back to here and we'll click on copy that one. Let's go back to here. Our first name server will be that. And our second name server will be this. So was that right, Morgan? Yep, okay. So we've got those 
updated, so let's save. Uh, yep, it's probably going to ask me to verify. Success. Your requested most name service update take effect within an hour. We could take up to 44, 48 hours. All right. So we've updated that. We've updated our domain name servers here, and you can see they are now pointing to Cloudflare. And just for kicks here, um, let me do, let's go visit the site, see if it works. All right, so it looks like it's still pulling things up here. Okay, cool. Just wanted to check that. All right, so now, Registers can take 24, 24 hours to process name server updates. You will receive an email on your site when your site is active on Cloudflare. So they're saying once all the name server updates have propagated, we'll get an email from Cloudflare letting us know when our site is active on Cloudflare. So let's click done here and see what happens. Configure domain settings to improve security, optimize performance, get most from your account. Okay, get started. Uh, automatic HTTPS rewrites, we'll leave that on. Since our website is HTTPS, always use HTTPS, yes. Oh, hold on, I missed that one previous. Redirect all requests with scheme HTTP to HTTPS. This applies to all HD. I'm gonna say yes, because my site is set up with HTTPS. So let's save that. Auto minify. Oh, uh, this one makes me a little nervous, but we're going to click on all of them. I've had some challenges in the past with minifying, I think it's CSS. It's either CSS or JavaScript. I've had some challenges. It kind of wrecks the site. So if we need to tweak that, we'll come back to that. I don't even know what that is, but we'll save it and finish. All right, and I think that's all we need here. So it also gives us some options here. Uh, show visitors a JavaScript challenge when visiting your site. So if your site happens to be under attack, you can toggle this on and it's going to uh, challenge visitors so you're not getting bombarded with bots. But that's really it. So. We're gonna wait, see if we get that confirmation email from Cloudflare. So here we are about 18 hours after setting up Cloudflare for the first time. Uh, I did receive the activation email from them shortly after we set up the, the site. But if we dive back into the Cloudflare dashboard, what we can see here is, let me pull this up. Um, you get a notification on your site here, which is great. Great news, Cloudflare is now protecting your site so you know that it's, uh, I guess, working. And that's about all there is under overview. So if we go to analytics, yeah, so this is where things started to get interesting. So you can see it started monitoring things yesterday at about 2 p.m. Eastern time during the 2 p.m. hour. And I think we had set this up at about one o'clock. So it already was was tracking traffic here. And it looks like it breaks it down between what's cached and what's uncached. The only thing I really don't care for is I, I can't really tell what traffic is, is cached and what's not. Uh, or at least I haven't been able to figure that out yet. But um, you can see, you know, total requests, cache requests, uncache requests, and broken out by by hour. So this is interesting. A big big spike here uh, for uncached data. But anyway, you you can kind of scroll through this, very Google analytical like. But I like the interface. You can see where my traffic's coming from. Um, Byte saved SSL requests, so I'm assuming what they're they're saying here is one megabyte, which doesn't seem like a whole lot, but one megabyte of my traffic's been cached. I don't know. Um, security 
Uh, total threats one. So let's see here. Looks like it came from the US. Shows me what bots are crawling my site. Not, no rate limiting. Um, it's not really telling me what the threat is. Unclassified, an unclassified threat. Interesting. Uh, I'll have to maybe play around with this a little more, see if you can get more details. Uh, more analytical data. Um, let's see, DNS, queries by response code, workers. So it, it's, uh, it, it's got quite a bit of information here. Um, there was one thing I discovered. Oh, firewall events. So you can see... Oh, interesting. So something from the Russian Federation um, and, oh, the WAF. I know I'm jumping all over the place because this is the first time I'm seeing things, so you'll have to play around with it and see what it's capable of doing for you. The one thing I did notice is I can actually set up a firewall rule, a web application firewall rule. Uh, it looks like it lets me set up five different rules for my site. And those rules can be, uh, well, I'll just show you here real quick. Um, you can do a test rule and you can say, I want to maybe not allow anyone from the country of Afghanistan to access my site. So if the country equals Afghanistan, Afghanistan, then we are going to block them. Or I can add a JavaScript challenge or some uh, a captcha or whatever so you can add some some basic web application firewall rules to your site here which is kind of cool i thought that was a premium service that you had to pay for so anyway there you go at the end of the day setting up cloudflare was pretty easy don't seem to be having any problems with the site and uh i guess we'll see how things go for for the time being i'm gonna keep this set up and we'll just kind of watch and monitor things. Hope you found this helpful and we'll see you guys in the next video.